Good morning, everybody. We have made it to Hollywood Studios at Disney Park. It was a little bit getting in today. We got up a little late, so it took a lot longer through traffic and everything to get into the parks today. And then I got buzzed through security to check my bag, so that took a couple minutes longer. So be prepared for that as well. But we made it. We're here. I'm gonna do a couple things. We, we do have a reservation for lunch today at Mama Melrose. So let's, uh, let's get our stuff, get inside, and see what we can get into.
So we had a dinner order for Woody's lunchbox. We got a grilled cheese and some potato barrels, I think they call it. Now keep in mind, when you do do an order there, um, right now there is no seating. I'm not sure how long that's going to be, so make sure you just check with the app and see when they will open that up in case you want to order food and sit there. No seating right now. Road Slinky Dog, always a good ride. It was so much fun. You can't go wrong with Slinky Dog. Don't underestimate it. It is a family ride, but it's a good family ride. So it is perfect timing. We just got off the ride and our mobile order is ready. Like I said, um, the scrim is up, so if you do order from here, just remember there is no seating at the moment. So just check with the app and when you order, just make sure you're aware of that. You'll have to find other seating. And there is not a whole lot around this area, actually. The theming in this area is super cute, so when it reopens, I highly suggest you have lunch here. It does get pretty packed though. Sometimes there's never seating. Sometimes you get lucky. But the area is cute anyways to look at. So we got the green cheese, grilled cheese, and the, bar the potato barrels, and then just a Coke. And then again, everything is closed over there, so you have to find seating. And sometimes you get shade, and sometimes you don't. So there's an area over here too, right behind this rock formation. There's some seating back in there, nice and cool. So this is where you come to make a droid. See, they're making their droids. This is where you pick all your parts. So many little droid parts. So you pick all your little parts and then you take them over to this little building station and the cast members will teach you how to build it and how it works. It's pretty cool. We've never built the droid, but we did do the lightsaber experience and that was awesome. We actually have a video out on that. I'll link that down below.
So in here you can buy all your crystals for your lightsabers right there in that cabinet there. And then you can buy all the ends to your lightsaber in here too. It's very cool. That store was a little crowded, so we decided to leave. In here, there's a good place to fill up your water bottle. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so how lucky is this? It's 35 minutes for this ride right now. I can't believe it's only 35 minutes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got battery chargers and an extra battery.
Smart is a 35 minute wait and if you go on for the Lightning Link single pass, it's $25 a person. So I think that we got pretty lucky today considering we could have paid $25 a person. Coming from. Yeah, 
Your safety is seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> at the end of the hallway. Turn right.
We just got done riding the Star Wars Rise of Resistance. I don't know, was it about a 35 minute wait? Do you think? Or was it more? Yeah, so it was about 35 minutes. We did get lucky. Again, it would have cost $25 a person if you would have did the lightning lane. So just check the times before you go purchasing that. Got Goofy and Max meeting today. They usually always meet over here in this corner. So this little area is new here. Ice cold hydraulics. This is all brand new, at least new since I've been here. It's been a few months since I've been here. Let's take a look at the menu here. All right, so you've got bouncing mini churros, savory churros topped with Coca Cola, bourbon candied bacon, sriracha, aioli, and scallions, and you've got candy painted cinnamon rolls and frozen slushies. The slushies sound good. So we're over here by Muppet Vision 3D and I know everybody has their thing, you know, some people like it, some people don't, but to be honest with you, it's a place to go in and sit down in the AC and get away from the heat. Just sit there and hang out for a few minutes and there's never a wait. After we hit that, Mama Melrose is actually right around the corner here, so that's where we're going to eat today. Make sure you got yourself some 3D glasses. This user-friendly machine will now generate the first living 3D effect just by clicking a simple switch. I welcome the spirit of 3D. Needs more sugar. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first musical portion of our demonstration, we have Miss Piggy in a wonderful 3D number. Uh, uh, a two, <laughs> Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah, too bad you're gonna spoil it for the pig. Well, you know what that makes you? Smarter than us! Hey, 
Yes, it's a glorious three hour finale. You gotta move them out. <gasps> okay, everybody, get ready. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Muppets proudly present the final demonstration of Muppet Vision 3D. <laughs> These are so big. And we got the mozzarella sticks for an appetizer. It comes with sauce. It looks like marinara, and I'm not sure what that is. Look at that cheese bowl. <laughs> All right, this was the New York steak. It's a pretty good sized steak. And then this was the macaroni and cheese. And there was sauce he got on the side. And I got the fettuccine alfredo with shrimp. I mean, these are pretty good portion sizes. All right, so this is the cannoli trio. We have the butterscotch, the traditional cannoli, and then the buttercream cannoli. Okay, if I had to rate these, it would be the traditional is my favorite. And then this would be second, and then this one, you can just throw this one away. It was disgusting. So that was our lunch at Mama Melrose. Everything was delicious. Oh my gosh, the portions were big. The price was not bad. I think we paid $99 for two of us. The steak was so good. Get the steak. I had the fettuccine Alfredo. It was very good as well. I know that the theming isn't that great in there, it's just an Italian restaurant and I know that there's other restaurants that have a lot of theming, but if you want big portions and good food, Mama Melrose is definitely the place to go.
some of those windows are open. People just like to stop right there in front of you. I didn't notice this was supposed to be like little apartments. Down the hatch. Mm -hmm. SS down the hatch. Well, that was our trip out to Hollywood Studios. We were able to get on Slinky Dog Dash. We were able to get on Rise of the Resistance Star Wars ride. I mean, I, I can't believe we were able to get on both those rides today. Wait times were pretty low. 45 minutes for one, 35 minutes for the other one. And if you were to buy that Lightning Lane thing, it would have been $25 just to ride the Rise of the Resistance ride. We had great food. Again, I highly, highly recommend eating at Mama Melrose. It was just really good food. So I think that's gonna do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And until next time, see ya. So it's 113 in the parking lot, so definitely, definitely be careful.